we have root x plus negative x equals 2. To solve this, we assume that the value of x here is greater or equals to 2. It is greater or equals to 0. So in solving this, we have that um, root x equals 2. I'm moving the plus negative x and negative x to the other side, I'm going to have negative minus negative x. So squaring both sides, um, I'm having root x all squared equals 2 minus root negative x all squared. So squaring a root is going to cancel out. So here I'm going to have x equals um, the shortcut to do this is when you have a minus b all squared is the same thing as a squared minus b squared um, um, plus b squared minus 2ab. Yes. So, in this regard, I'm going to have 2 squared, which is the same thing as 4 minus root negative x times root negative s is going to give me what? Um, negative um, x minus 4 root negative x. So, solving this further, I'm going to have x plus x negative 4 equals negative 4 root negative x. So, I have 2x negative 4 equals negative 4 root negative x dividing through by 2 by 2 by 2. So I'm going to have x minus 2 equals negative 2 root negative x. So squaring both sides again and doing the same thing I did here. So, on this left-hand side, I'm going to have x squared negative 4x plus 4 equals negative 4x. So, with this, I have my x squared plus 4 equals negative 4x plus 4x. So I have x squared equals negative 4. Square root both sides. So I'm going to have x equals root negative 4. And um, for you to get the solution to this root, this is going to be what? A complex number. So my x is equals to plus or minus 2i, where my i stands for the word the imaginary. So thank you very much.